Right. Yeah. Uh, first, I just want to say that um, contrary to what was suggested earlier, we do could seem just, to be. Ex could you just? Oh, sorry. I'm Andrea Hostenstaub. I'm a postdoc. I'm a neurophysiologist. Uh, so we do seem to be exploring some fairly far-flung regions of hypothesis space today. Um, <laughs> uh, so um, it seems to me that what you said is that gap junctions are required for the generation of the gamma oscillation and that the gamma well, oscillation I, I, is the neural that. correlate of consciousness. So if this is what you're saying, then it's extremely easy to test. And in fact, this test has been performed hundreds, thousands of times every day. The test that you would perform is to administer a drug other than an anesthetic that also has the side effect of blocking gap junctions and look at the effect of administering this drug on consciousness. Um, well, the drugs that they use for prophylactics against malaria, the quinine and quinine derivatives, are extremely potent gap junction blockers. They get into the CNS, and they have dozens of kind of horrible effects on people's um, psychology, ranging from delusions to outright psychosis, but they do not uh, coincide with loss of consciousness. Is this consistent with your theory? First of all, there's, there's at least, uh, can I answer? First of all, there's at least 10 different connections so it, what, a drug may bind one type of gap junction, not another. There's a knockout mouse model that knocks out connection, connection 43, and uh, it, those mice are, are uh, they're very messed up, but as far, we, we don't know if they're conscious. They, they behave, they survive. But the, again, there's like, there's 10 connections and another group called panexins, and it's unclear whether any lesion or any drug affects all of them. So uh, what you said doesn't invalidate what I said. Um, and, it's true that the, the, the uh, connections, um, there are dozens of them, but there's, for the most part, with one or two exceptions, only one is expressed in neurons. That's connection 36, which is blocked by quinine. Uh, connection 43 plus a bunch of panexins. I reviewed this not too long ago. Okay, this is getting a little bit sophisticated for me. 